Hey guys, it's Ross Gamer Flamer here, and today I'm going to give you my full review and opinion on Pokemon Y. Now, one of the, now what I'm going to be talking about in this video is all the things I love about the game and all the things I absolutely hate about this game. Because when playing through this game, I loved it all. And yes, I did just finish this game on the um, I finished it on the Friday. And I've just uh, pretty much loved every minute of this game. But uh, I thought today I'd talk about the more in-depth things about the game. So anyway, let's get started. So let's quickly talk about the story of the main game. Now, I pretty much liked the story. I thought it was very creative and very well thought through. So what I did was... I beat the game, I started the story, I thought, you know, this is okay and stuff. However, the one thing that disappointed me was some of the music and some of the gameplay. Especially the gameplay including um, Team Flare, because I just didn't think that they were good enough for villains, and I know they were trying to base this game around a more, you know, kid-friendly genre, but, I mean, look back to Pokemon Black and White 2. What did we love about that? I know I certainly loved the team, because I thought the team which was in Pokemon Black and White Team Plasma, I thought that was a really, really good team. And it's great to see how what they did with the first game, Pokemon Black and White, and evolve it into the second game. With this game, they sort of just taken, like, some red dudes and just, like, slapped sunglasses on. So I think they could have been a little bit more creative. So, anyway, let's move on to talking about the, um, the main things in the game. Aim. So let's talk about this for example what I have on screen here the battles. I think they're absolutely amazing And they've definitely improved as you can see on the overall animation of the game You can definitely see that the animations just been improved And I like the fact how now even if you catch a Pokemon you gain XP. That's a really um, really useful thing to have because Previously, it's been so hard to level up Pokemon in this game. It's much easier and they have much easier catch rates as well, so that's another thing that makes it good. And uh, also, I wanted to talk about the way the battles are set out, because they really do do a great job at Game Freak of making these battles really incredible and look really amazing. And I know you're probably looking at this footage thinking, it doesn't look very good. Well, that's because I'm recording it with a tripod and a camera, so I'm trying to get the best possible footage as I can. So anyway, as you can see, these are the battles, and this is the overground. I can't really show you too much of the other gameplay, because I, I keep, I got dragged into doing this battle thing, and I can't get out. So I can't really do anything else here, so I'm just going to keep doing, going through this. So yeah, anyway, now I'm going to talk about the ending of this game. Now, I thought for a game, it was pretty much one of the best endings I've ever seen for any Pokemon game. I mean, no one can say that this was a bad ending, because it was a very good ending, and it was very creative. The Elite Four were creative, and the Champion. However, the Champion music I didn't really like. I just didn't think it um, fitted the theme for a Champion. I just feel they could have been uh, a little bit more creative with their, um, them, their style of music. I think they could have made it a lot more powerful and a lot more intense, but I think they tried their best. I think what they tried to do with this game is base it more around the theme of France and try to add as much good music as possible. And what I think they did was very good. I mean, I like the music, I like certain parts of the game. It's all really, really good, and I just enjoy this game generally. And uh, some of the things which I'm going to talk about now are some of the things I don't like about the game. So, a good example of this is the rollerblades. Why the heck do we have to use them all the time when we use the circle pad down here? Like, when you're trying to roll a skate around, it just gets really, really irritating just roller skating all around. You can't disable the roller skates, and you have to use the D-pad to run. Now, that's okay to me, but what if you're a person who loves using, you know, the circle pad and has gotten used to it? I mean, you don't want to have to use the the d-pad to run it's just annoying i would have really preferred it if they could have um at least designed it so that it was like the bike you know you could get on and off using one button that would have just made the game 
a little bit more better and a little bit more fun because it would have allowed a lot more variety when choosing what you want, you know what I mean? So, anyway, that's one of the things I didn't like about the game. Now, one of the other things which I mentioned before was the team flair and the music. So, the music I thought was good, but I didn't think it was as good as, like, Black and White 2. Some of the music was much better, and I can see how they really evolved the music and made it much better. So, that's a good thing. And then, the next thing I want to move on to... Well, the last thing I want to talk about in this game is the overall gameplay. Now, the gameplay is really fun. I mean, it's what you'd expect from any Pokemon game. Nothing much has changed. You go through the whole region, you get all the eight badges, and that's pretty much it. You just beat all the eight badges and the uh, Elite Four and become the champion. It's, it's never been any different. Which is one thing I kind of got disappointed about, because I expected instead of just having one region... I'd expected multiple regions in this game. Like, I really wish they could have been doing it like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where once you've explored the Johto region and got all eight badges, you go on to the Kanto region and get all of those eight badges. So it would have been it made the game a lot more fun, it made it a lot more detailed and longer. So that's something they really could have thought about with this game, combining two re and having you travel from each one. Or, if they wanted to be really creative, take all the regions from all the games and combine them all into one game. And then somehow make a story about that. I would have really enjoyed that because that would have actually been a really, really creative way of using the, um, the gameplay. And it would have made it more enjoyable. So, yeah, that this has uh, been pretty much my review of the game because I've now completed it. Uh, I know it probably wasn't in depth as many of you wanted to hear, but I tried my best and I'm gonna have to stop recording in a minute because my recorder is like just, um, it's literally just about to reach 2 minutes 40, so I don't know how much longer I can record on this. So, anyway guys, thanks for listening to this review. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you guys want me to post any videos about Pokemon X and Y on my channel, I will do, just post in the comments of this video what parts of the game you want to see, and I will see if I can do them. So anyway guys, that's it for now, and I'll see you all on Wednesday when we go back to doing some more clever bot, or I may put a new video up. So yeah, until Wednesday guys, that's it.